All right, guys, get some NBA picks and props for Thursday, March 28th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at the leaderboard and how do you start us off? Yeah, guys, recording a little bit early, uh, so none of my plays have finished yet. I gave out the Houston Rockets plus seven and a half going up against Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, a lot of people said that they didn't like this pick, but hey, the Rockets are currently up three points early in the second quarter. They need to just finish this game strong, uh, and I think they're going to win this game straight up. Yeah, and I gave out the uh, the Clippers minus six on the road going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. James Harden return, and they let him hear it, Trey. The Boo Birds were out, and uh, the Clippers, they got off to a really slow start, down by double digits early. They've cut that to six points at the half. So hopefully they come out in the second half and play like the better team they are, and we can go 1-0 there. Trey, let's go with player props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm actually 1-0 because my game is currently still going, but he already smashed the over. I gave out Brandon Miller. Over 19 and a half points versus the Cavaliers. He's already sitting at 24 points early in the fourth quarter. So uh, just like I expected, Evan Mobley's kind of shutting down bridges and uh, Miller's getting all the shots. Yeah, and I gave out Jared Allen to go over 10 and a half rebounds in the same game. He's sitting at seven, but they just started the fourth quarter. He's probably going to get a couple more minutes of break and then come back in. Hopefully he can get his four more rebounds in the fourth quarter there and cash that player props. We can sweep the ball with Trey. Trey, let's go to the group play. We're not going to have a group play today, but the group play yesterday – was uh, the Warriors going up against the Magic. I took the Warriors plus six and a half. You took the Magic minus six and a half. And uh, we know everything's perfectly fine in the world because Draymond Green got ejected four minutes in this game. So nobody worry. The world's not ending. Draymond Green got ejected again. So everything's on 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 pace to uh, continue our life as it is. But uh, the Warriors are currently up. I think it was six, maybe, or seven at the half. So anybody's game there. Anything can happen in the NBA. Trey, let's go to our players for tomorrow. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, there's only two games here in the NBA, uh, so me and Bears going to be breaking down both of them. My game, it's going to be this Milwaukee Bucks going up against New Orleans Pelicans game, and this is going to be a very fun game to watch. Both teams, they've had very successful seasons, but here recently, the Bucks they have been up and down. They're 5-5 five and five over their last 10 games and 5-5 five and five ATS, so it's kind of hard to trust this Bucks team. And the Pelicans, they have been red hot here recently. They're 7-3 over their last 10 games, but they're going to be without Brandon Ingram here, so that makes it hard for me to trust them as well. But there's one team that I trust more than the other. Give me the Milwaukee Bucks here in this game. I'm going to take them on the money line. Historically, they simply just dominate this matchup. The Bucks, they have won four straight games versus the Pelicans, and they won those four games by an average score of 135-114, to 114. so winning by an average of 21 points per game. And the reason why I think the Bucs are going to just dominate here is because of the perimeter matchups. The Pelicans, in my opinion, they're going to get destroyed on the perimeter in this game because the Bucs, they are one of the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA. They average making 14.4 threes per game. That's the fourth most in the NBA. And whenever you look at the Pelicans on the defensive end, they allow an average of 38.8 three-point attempts per game, which is the second most in the NBA. So the Bucks, they're going to be able to chuck up a ton of threes here in this game. And more often than not, they usually go in from Milwaukee. So I expect the Bucks to come in this road game and walk out with a massive win. Give me the Bucks here. I'm going to take them on the money line versus the Pelicans. Yeah, I like that play, Trey. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Uh, can we get a spread for the Boston Celtics game really quick? Yeah, it's pretty big. They're <laughs> currently minus 12 and a half. Okay, uh, for the play today, we're going to be breaking down the Celtics and Atlanta Hawks game. The first matchup they were in, uh, this is a back-to-back, -back, by the way. Uh, they took a day off, but Boston's back at Atlanta. The first matchup two days ago, minus 11 and a half the Boston Celtics were. Team total over 18 and a half. They scored 74 first-half points, having a 30-point lead in the first half. Then the second half came along. The Atlanta Hawks took a lead. They allowed just 44 second-half points to what everybody calls the best basketball team in the NBA. Trey, the Atlanta Hawks did this, by the way. A team who's second-worst defensively in the NBA, allowing 120.5 points per game, and they didn't have Trey Young. That team allowed 44 second-half points of the Boston Celtics, who, by the way, have Tatum, have Brown, have Porzingis, have all these great superstars. I'm going to take the Boston Celtics because I don't think people are tired of making fun of Jason Tatum jokes because he can't close. He can't close. Is, is Jason Tatum even good, Trey? Are we? Is he so overhyped? Tell me. Tell me. He is definitely not better than Goat James, and I'll tell you that. And you say Goat James ain't top 10. So Okay, James is not top 10, but neither is Tatum. Tatum's not even close to top 10 the way he's playing. Um, but I'm going to take the Boston Celtics here because I'm going to start betting – by what team got embarrassed the night before. So I think that's the only way to be profitable in the NBA. Anything can happen. We saw that two games ago with the Atlanta Hawks. So uh, just give me the Boston Celtics here. No way they can get embarrassed two tights in a row, right? I mean, there's no way. Give me the better team here. They're going to be pissed off in this game. Give me them to win by 20-plus points. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off? 
Yeah, guys, I'm actually going to stay in that game. and I'm going to be taking uh, Chris Stops Porzingis here, and I'm going to take him to go over his points. And I feel like this is just a sure bet. I feel really confident about it. That is because Porzingis, he is going to dominate here for a few reasons. The first reason is because of his matchup versus the Hawks. We're going to see Chris Stops just sauce up Clint Capella throughout this game. And historically, that has seemed to be true because over Porzingis' last five games versus the Hawks, he's averaging a mass of 27.8 points per game. And I think we're going to see another great performance here in this one. And we should probably enjoy a nice discount line whenever this number does drop. That's because Porzingis, he's averaging under his season average here over his last five, only averaging 19.4 points per game. So this is going to be probably at 19 half, 18 half, regardless. I feel like we're going to see him score 20 plus points here in this one. But I think the Celtics are going to focus on the Porzingis versus Capella matchup because, in my opinion, Porzingis is just barbecue chickening him on the perimeter. So give me Kristaps Porzingis. I'm going to take him to go over his points versus the Hawks. Yeah, Trey, love the uh, love the play there for you. Uh, for my player prop today, it's going to be CJ McCollum to go over 2.5 May threes going up against the Bucks. Going back to my Golden Goose, Trey, I loaned him out to you a couple nights ago. He got you a big win, so I'm going to try to see if CJ can get his two wins in the last week here. This line's probably going to come out at three and a half, but just in case I wanted to put two and a half, in case we got a decent line, I'm fine playing the three and a half because that's what we've been playing CJ McCollum at all season long. All this dude does is make three-point shots. Over the last six games, he started to heat up again from the outside, making three plus threes in six consecutive games. He's also shot eight plus three-point attempts in five of the last six games on this stretch, and he's made over four in five of those six. He is still shooting above 40% from the three-point line this season. He's making 41.7% of his shots. So if we get 10 shots put up in this game, we should be right around that number of 3.5. He's been hovering right around 10 three-point shot attempts per game over this stretch of games. So I do love the volume that we're going to be getting in this one. He's also getting a fairly good matchup against the Bucks defense, who's giving up 36 three-point attempts per game. They're allowing teams to make 12.7 of those attempts. I'm going back to the Gold Goose here to get things done for us. Over 2.5 made threes, probably going to be over 3.5 made threes as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with the Bucks here on the money line versus the Pelicans. I feel like this is a great bet in this game. Anytime we can get the Bucks as small favorites, in my opinion, we need to hammer it. At the end of the day, they have Giannis and Dame. Two players the Pelicans do not have. Also going with Kristaps Porzingis over his points versus the Hawks. He's going to sauce up Capella. Historically, he owns the Hawks. So awesome. rinse and repeat. Yeah, I'm going with the Boston Celtics minus 12 and a half here against the Atlanta Hawks. Again, they got embarrassed. There's no way they do that twice. I think that this time they win by the 30 plus margin. And then give me CJ McCollum over 2.5 threes. Again, probably going to be 3.5. But just in case, wanted to get a decent line there if it did drop a 2.5. Guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Thursday, March 28th, Slated Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl, we also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, BearsProfitPlays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 